Ever wish your revision screen had more sub-estimate tabs available? With Manager SE version 9.2, it's now possible to add as many as you need. With Job View mode turned on, let's look at the new features. The first thing users notice is the new Summary tab, and that there's no longer nine empty sub-estimate tabs. We're going to show you how simple it is to add sub-estimate tabs to the revision screen. Clicking on this plus icon creates a new sub-estimate tab. Do this as many times as needed. Thanks to Job View, I'm going to use Quick Menu to select a CAN job for this tab. The job details get transferred into the sub-estimate, and tabs now automatically get named in the process. Every time the plus icon is clicked, a new tab is opened with a new job container ready to go. Click Quick Menu to add another CAN job, or use the estimator or parts catalogs as needed. Even if your tabs don't hit the full display limit, it's nice to know that it's possible to close some to concentrate on a few. This is just hiding them temporarily. Go to the Summary tab and click on any sub-estimate that was hidden, and that will return it to full tab display. The Remove Sub-estimate option would be used to delete any. Please note that sub-estimates now include last modification date. Back to the Summary tab for further details, all current sub-estimates are always listed whether their tabs are being displayed or not. The new Comments column allows adding notes or prioritizing which sub-estimates are most important. These comments can be freeform entry or selected from a drop-down list. This little icon in the title bar is a shortcut to the newly modified Notes Comments area. Add, edit, or delete these entries as needed. In the Cell Revision window, we've added a Clear Recommendations option. This saves time and eliminates any communication errors with lingering recommendations. Look how tightly connected recommendations and revisions are now. Users no longer need to go to the vehicle screen, as it's now possible to link to or create new recommendations right here in the revision screen. If your workflow is working from the other direction, recording recommendations first, when the technician makes the service advisor aware of repair needs, they'll now have access to current sub-estimates to link any of them to your recommendation. Working in either direction still provides a fully integrated experience. The Labor Item Edit window has been enlarged to provide more space with less scrolling. Users tell us it's a challenge in a busy shop to give customers different pricing options moving stuff back and forth between the order and revision screens. In Manager SC 9.2, we've got something new called the Order Previewer. Click this handy little icon to open it. The current order total is shown, and by checking or unchecking boxes, any pricing combination of the current work and sub-estimates can easily be provided. This is a powerful way to accurately quote customers quickly without making any permanent changes to the order. You might ask, when will we not have to print each sub-estimate as a separate print job for sharing with customers? Manager SC 9.2 now offers combined revisions printing. Simply check the boxes for the sub-estimates to be included. While we're talking about printing, the job view estimate and invoice templates have been revamped to print in less space. That means it's now less likely to spill to an extra page as before. One more thing to share in Manager SC 9.2, new job view settings have been added to the presentation tab to better control tax and labor displayed. With Manager SC 9.2, your revision screen now has a summary column, unlimited sub-estimates, prioritization by comments, bi-directional linkage between revisions and recommendations, and an order previewer to better facilitate those customer pricing conversations. This release boosts shop efficiency and accuracy, making our shop management software even easier to use. Manager SE, the industry's number one shop management system, is moving forward.